Good night, son. Winter has come to the Arctic after the long summer of 2015. It was the hottest on record. 80% of the summertime ice cover has melted since 1979. That's opening up potentially lucrative shipping lanes, clearing the way to once inaccessible fossil fuel resources. The heat has created some geopolitical friction too, with Russia and America eyeing each other warily. Putin threw down first, planting a tiny titanium Russian flag in 2007 on the bottom of the sea at the North Pole. Moscow has filed a request to the United Nations asking the international community to recognize this area as part of its territory. Now Russian companies, with the government as their financial partner, are building a natural gas port at Sabeta on Siberia's Yamal Peninsula. With the ice melting, Sabeta can become the hub of the northern sea route. But this unusually candid local TV news report is cautious. By 2017, up to 20 million tons of liquid natural gas will definitely be shipped on the North Sea route. But truth be told, all this is still in the planning stages. Russia is just beginning this journey. Hi everybody, we're at Kanai Fjords National Glacier Park. Arctic sea ice is melting everywhere around the North Pole including the fabled Northwest Passage in the coastal waters of Alaska and northern Canada. So it's no surprise that President Obama showed up in Alaska this summer, selfie stick in hand. Warming taking place twice as fast here in Alaska as it is in the bottom 48 states. Uh, that is melting glaciers and blocks of ice that are raising sea levels. Besides climate change, he had one word for us. Ice breakers. Operationally, we really only have two. Contrast, Russia has about 40. Russia does have more icebreakers, and now they have a security chief for the Arctic, too. The region's governor met with him this summer. They discussed the border security issues of Russia's Arctic. The nation's president has tasked us with this challenge, and we are obliged to do everything to accomplish it. One of the things that I'm announcing today is a proposal to accelerate the construction of at least one additional heavy icebreaker. In a region strewn with military outposts, Russia's claim to the North Pole and America's relatively small slice of the riches could prove dangerous. Military construction is accelerating, what some call prepping for Arctic war. <laughs>